Hi guys, we'll have Buddy here in just a few minutes for y'all. Um, if you wanna start raising your hands, we'll get going as soon as he sits down. Patrick, go ahead and start us off. Hi, buddy. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, I'm sure you don't, don't want to dwell on this game very long, but the question has to be asked, what's going on with Armon? I mean, we've seen the struggles, but today it only pits two-thirds of an inning and gets shelled like that. What's going on with him? Well, I think uh, if you reconstruct it uh, pitch by pitch, you know, there were some things that he, he didn't do well, for sure. Hung a breaking ball to Talkman. Uh, that's, you know, that was a mistake on the 3-2 count. Was ahead of him 1-2, couldn't put him away. You know, that that created a problem. Belt hit the ground ball. We didn't make a play for him. Posey uh, hit a 94-mile-an-hour sinker in the hole. Ground ball. Granted, that's baseball. What you know, three or four feet either way could be a double play. Dickerson squibbed one to center, not hard hit. Crawford walk. That's that's a flaw. That's bad. Then Flores hit a ground ball off a good fastball, found the hole. You know, that's baseball. Vossler hit a ground ball to short. Uh, we didn't help him there. Uh, we just got the force out. Dunger hit a hang and break ball. That was bad pitch. That was a, you know, a course field double. Struck out the pitcher and then walked talking. So uh, for me, Patrick, I think lack of command. Couldn't get his break ball in good spots when he needed to. Ground balls went through. Uh, you're going to look at the line, and it's going to say a lot of runs against Ramon. Uh, there's definitely some things we have to take care of as far as his command. There's too many walks, obviously, in his 33, 34 innings. I think there's 15, 16 walks. On a scouting scale, that's not good, as you know. We've talked about that. So uh, I think overall we got to get the ball to better spots with the fastball. I think the fastball command overall this season has been lacking. You know, the break of ball today was inconsistent. And he couldn't he couldn't get out of it, you know, with uh, with a couple of ground balls. Thomas, go ahead. Yeah, buddy, I'm um, given what you were saying, some of the stuff that kind of happened maybe um, was wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. When you went out to talk to him. Was that kind of the message, or what was the message then? Okay. You know, I'm not going to tell you what I said, Thomas. That's between Herman and I. Uh, but it was more about, you know, let's, you know, let's hold this together here. Let's make some pitches and keep it right here where it's manageable. Uh, you know, I felt in, in this type of ball game. Okay, and um, obviously, Justine gave up a couple home runs coming in. Was able to kind of pull you through for a little bit. Um, what are you seeing out of him at this point? Yeah, the big blow obviously was the, the you know, the homer off of uh, Belt's bat. You know, at you know at five nothing. Uh, you know, with you know with a with a ball game where I thought the hitting conditions were pretty good there in the first game. You know, I thought you know that could have been doable, but uh, you know those two homers were back breakers. But you know he he settled in, gave us three scoreless innings, which was. What we needed at that point, we needed some zeros on the board to keep uh, the game uh, within some sort of, uh, you know, magical comeback. And we got we got to 10-4 after the grand slam. Had a couple more opportunities to add on. 
uh, Crawford's blow was a backbreaker too, but uh, it was a game where they just they just really outhit us, and we didn't make enough good pitches. Thanks, buddy. Anything else for Buddy? Okay, thank you, Buddy. We'll have Herman Marquez available in about 10 or 15 minutes. Everybody.